Hi, this is Sarah with your Tech Talk for this week. This week I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to set up your breakout rooms in Google Meet. The first way is if you do not have the extension for Google Meet breakout rooms. So what I'm recommending is that you start with a single slide and just set it up with the links for your separate groups. In this case, I have on one side a set of the Google Meet norms that kids throughout all Google Meets would follow. I have four teams set up and just have set up the slide to be kind of an interesting, easy to follow thing kids would know to look for their names. One tip at the bottom that I've included is that to put an asterisk in each group um, with a star of who the Meet moderator will be. This is the student that's going to be in charge of making sure everybody's answering the questions, maybe leading the discussion, etc. Just an idea. Another thing that I learned this spring when doing Google Meet breakouts with other students was to have some shortcuts for kids to use the chat box. So if kids in a Google Meet, whether it's your main Meet or in a breakout room, put in a Q, that means they have a question to ask. If they have an I, it's I have an idea to share, and an A, an answer to share. That's a way for students to share quickly and easily some thinking. So as you can see, I've set this up. I've already included three of the breakout rooms, so I'm going to show you a couple other tips as well. I'm going to come into my Google Classroom, um, and I'm using this one because I don't already have a meet in here. If you're in your Google Classroom and you click on, if you've ever done this before, you'll already have it, but if you haven't, you can click merely on Generate Meet Link, and then you just follow the prompts, generating the link. I'm going to copy it, and that is now part of that classroom. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to use that as our always our main meet. So kids would be trained that that's our main meet. Okay, so that again would then fall at the top of the classwork. Kids know to go there. Okay, but then once they're in meets, I'm going to show you how to load this in your classroom so kids could figure out how to get back there if they didn't know there. The other one you're going to set up in your calendar. And so I've got my calendar set up. I've already set up three of the four breakouts. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to set up my fourth breakout. I'm going to go to Create. And I'm going to add a title. So this is going to be Group D Breakout Room. And I'm going to come down here and add Google Meet Video Conferencing. And then I'm going to save it. Okay. So that's now saved. If I come to my Today view for the day, I'll be able to say, see all of them. So I set that for today. I'm going to go back into that event. And I'm going to have that be an all-day event that repeats. And I like to choose Monday through Friday, so it's not on the weekends. You can set this up at the beginning, or if you forget, you can come back in this way and save it. So that's now going to show up every day, Monday through Friday. You can see as I click through that it's there. Then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to grab a copy of the link by clicking here come back to my slide, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to insert it there. So now that's the link. So I want to format that to 11. So I'm just going to highlight it so it matches the other breakout rooms, and make that 11 by clicking at the top. So make it even a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I have a format that is set that can be set up as a general breakout rooms. You could use it in any of your subject areas. You're going to come back then, and my recommendation is to create a material and to load this at the top of your class. And this is where type in a quick description. And then I'm not going to add this as a topic. I'm just going to add this as a item. And so I navigate to wherever I've saved that, save that, click on it, and insert it. Okay, and then you're going to post it. No topic for this one. And so that is now at the top of my classwork. So when I go from my stream to classwork, I'm going to always leave that there so kids, if they got kind of fuddled around or didn't know where to go, they would know to go there to go to breakout rooms. So you've got a couple of places in your classroom now. Kids can come here to go to the main meet. They can come here to go to the main meet, and they can also come here to go to the breakout rooms. During a Google Meet, you could click and open each of these. I'll just show you really quickly. 
and join them. Leave the tab open for each of them, however many you're using. Open two today. You can open all of them if you want. Join. And I'll go ahead and open the main one as well. And join. And you'll be able to um, move in and out of the different rooms that you see as you're moving through. So that's kind of a way to see how to do it. So that is how you would do it without having the extension. You can say I've already added the extension on this computer. Um, so uh, in the net other side of the Tech Try It slide, you can look at how to add the extension and how to set up breakup rooms in with the extension. Thank you.